So guys, Josh here. Um, got a haul video for you today. I know it's been a while. I apologize. Uh, didn't go to many sales today, but I got a lot and I spent a lot. <clears throat> but I should do pretty well with everything I got. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. Um, first sale I went to had some PS3 games, all adult owned. Uh, Call of Duty, God of War, another Call of Duty in Dead Space. Uh, 12 bucks for all three, I mean all four, and that's about 5 to 80 game, I believe. So, and they're all Dota owned in really good condition. And then, I also bought their broken console. Uh, they said they had a broken console, and I told them if they wanted, I would give them 5 bucks for it, and they took it, and I almost dropped it on my laptop and break it. <laughs> but uh that should be about at least 30 bucks for parts so yeah and it is heavy good god <clears throat> uh our right, next element to i see this on a table and i go up and it's a sega genesis with the sega cd attachment and also have the Sega 32X, which is all amazing stuff by itself. Then they had games. Um, got the ooze, a lot of generic stuff. <coughs> um, that this um Earthworm Jim, that's a good one. I'm not sure exactly the value. Running Stimpy, a lot of this stuff I'll probably put into a lot to sell. A uh, Doom 32X. Star Wars, uh, 32X game, Jurassic Park, <laughs> and just I believe this was a pretty good game, uh, value-wise. Then they also had some Sega CGA CD games, which I was really excited about because Sega CD didn't do too well. Thus, the games are pretty scarce and uh, pretty. Some of them can be very expensive. I got Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. I think that was ten dollars. Rise of the Dragons was also about ten dollars. <coughs> I uh, this is Ground Zero Texas. Not sure what this is in. That is. <coughs> and then when I got home, I found there are a bunch of disc only games. I'm not gonna. There's nothing special there, but I'm probably gonna put them all in the lot because it's they're not worth much by themselves being disc only. Uh, but I paid fifteen for everything, and that can be amazing. Uh. Gotta test this because I hear rattling inside and it's really dirty. But um I think I'll do very well on that for fifteen bucks. And I just love picking up video game stuff. Okay, um trying to think of where I went to next. Uh went to a yard sale. Got this model for three dollars. Uh a Dodge. L700 and a 40 Ford Coupe on a flatbed trailer. That was three bucks. I expect about 25-ish. Uh, there's so much stuff here. I got another friend and seen a game. I pick these up all the time. I uh, don't know what they're going for now. Uh, they went down last time I sold them, so but it was three bucks, so I'll do good with that. <coughs> see what else I got. Uh, okay, so this bundle was from one of my friends who I buy stuff a lot. He doesn't use eBay or Amazon, so he buys a lot of stuff, and if he can't sell locally, usually he just comes to me. So, um, I paid eighty five dollars for what I knew he I was getting, and he wanted to get rid of stuff, so we just brought extra stuff with him, and yeah. <coughs> so I got a uh, battleship. That's probably about 10 shipped on Amazon. Uh, Kodak, that's going to be about 25. Uh, I got this catchphrase game. Um, used on Amazon is about 10 shipped, but new is 50. But I'm not 100% sure if it's new or not because it is taped, but it doesn't look like it was ever used. So I'll have to <coughs> disclose that or something. Uh, this is Trivial Pursuit game, which is completely worthless even though it's new. 
uh, this was a, one of the better things, a Digimon board game, uh, still sealed, that's probably about 30, 40-ish. <coughs> uh, let me see what else I got from, uh, oh yeah, here's this bag, save the best for last, I got a GameCube, it's a black GameCube, nothing special, but, thing it had, yeah, it has cables in there, <coughs> has a couple loose games in here, I'm not even sure what they are, I don't think it was anything worth anything, yeah, open season, the kangaroo, yeah, <coughs> that's that, and, also got a, <coughs> one of the better things, this bundle, Game Boy Advance with Pokemon Crystal, Gold, and Silver. He said he knows one of them saves, but he hasn't tried the other two, so <coughs> even if they don't save, I'll get some decent money for them. <coughs> and I think that's it for except for this. And uh guys at one dollar fifty K will probably love this. It's a, I believe it's an SX70. Uh, I'm gonna freaking break the thing opening it, but. I have no idea how to do cameras, guys. I'm gonna be completely honest. I know nothing about them. <coughs> there we go. Yeah, Polaroid SX70 LAN camera. Um, this was the best thing in the bundle. And this will probably go for about 70 to 90 range. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm probably going to pinch my fingers closing it. Nope, I got it. <clears throat> it has a nice little case with it. So, 85 for all of that. And this will probably cover it alone. And then the board game, the Pokemon game, all that. <coughs> do pretty well with that, and <coughs> lastly, if I can even pick this up, I'm not sure, oh girl, I got this, uh, I believe, I can't remember the name of it, yes, yeah, Cecil Ware, uh, Nacho Cheese Dispenser, uh, the guy told me, it works and all, except for it won't pump because it's missing a tube or something that I see. It it is probably an easy fix. Um, I paid five dollars for it. I probably shouldn't have, but I haven't even done much uh, research on this. It could be a good buy. It could be horrible. I don't know, but for five bucks, I figured it was worth a shot. Oh god! And it's heavy. Uh, so that's it for this video, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. i uh, trying to have more videos up, but it's getting cold and there's not many yard sales. So uh, be sure to like my Facebook page. It's uh, Mr. Retro Josh. And I believe that's it. So thanks for watching and peace out.